Hi, I'm Todd Henderson, and check out the bed rug complete bed liner for the 2017 Honda Ridge line. Now this is going to work with all your tie down cleats, your bed lighting, and even your trunk access. Today we're going to show you how to install it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting out, what we want to do is make sure that all the pieces of the bed rug are laid out flat, preferably in the sun if you can, but you want to let them kind of relax a little bit because being shipped in, you know, rolled up, um, they, they work a little bit better when you're putting them together if they're laying flat. What we're going to do first is attach our Velcro to this portion. So we're going to flip it over um, and you're going to see you've got a couple of strips. And what we're going to do is take our long uh, Velcro strips that have the red uh, tape on the back and we're going to attach them to these pieces. And where it ends, we're going to cut it to fit. Then we're going to take one of our long uh, white taped pieces and we're going to put it in sections along uh, the end here. Next, we're going to go ahead and flip it back over, and we're going to zip this piece to our sidewall. Get these pieces lined up, start feeding it through, just zip it together. All right, so right now I'm on the passenger side. We're going to do the exact same thing on the driver's side. Um, on each side, we've got four tie-down cleats that are from the factory. One up here, one down here, and next to the tailgate, we've got two. Uh, those are held in by factory uh, T50 Torx bolts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a T50 and we're going to back those out. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. Take them loose. We're going to set our tie down cleat to the side, but we're going to put our Torx bolts back into place. Uh, we're not going to put them all the way in. We're going to leave them about a half inch sticking out into the bed of the truck. Now that I've got this fit into place, I'm going to, with my weight on it so it doesn't shift around, I'm going to lift up one half and I'm going to notice where the red strip hits the floor of the ridge line. I'm going to wipe that down with alcohol. And also any of the other tape spots where those hit, I'm also going to wipe down the floor of the ridge line with alcohol there too. Now every place that the the Velcro is actually going to be touching uh, the uh, the part uh, the the floor of the bed, I'm going to just take and rub a little bit of adhesive promoter right onto that surface. All right, now I'm just going to double check, make sure everything is still lined up uh, with the bed rug in the floor of the bed. Uh, and now I'm going to peel back again. Uh, this uh, adhesive promoter is already flashed, so it's kind of dried in place. I'm going to go ahead and peel away the tape protectant on the Velcro and lay that down into place. Do the same to the other side. away the adhesive protector from the white strips of Velcro next.
I'm also bearing down on the adhesive to make sure I've got a good contact. All right, so next what I'm going to do in this part of the installation is I'm going to feel for where my bolts are uh, that are that held in that tie down cleat. Um, I'm gonna peel this back, see where my bolts are, and then I'm gonna take a nice sharp utility knife. I'm gonna make some slices through the bed rug. uncover the spots where the bolts go through. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my T50, and I'm gonna pull out those two bolts. Now I'm gonna take my tie-down cleat, run the two bolts down through the tie-down cleat, find the holes in the floor of the bed, I'm going to reinstall the tie-down cleat, and this is actually going to anchor the, uh, the bed rug to the floor with the tie-down cleat. I'll repeat the same process on the, on the driver's side as well. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and peel back the bulkhead portion. Uh, now, in this bulkhead portion, we're going to see three strips of Velcro that are stitched to the back side of the, bed, uh, the, uh, uh, the bulkhead piece. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take first uh, the small pieces of Velcro. We're going to take five of the small pieces of Velcro, and we're going to evenly space them on the bottom edge. Now we're going to go ahead and do five pieces on the middle section of Velcro. Again, just evenly space those. And then for the very top piece of Velcro that goes up to the top surface, we're going to use one of our long strips. Go all the way from one side, all the way to the other. Now, this is going to be the white-backed Velcro. Once we get it in there, we're going to go ahead and cut that to length. In every location where the, the Velcro is going to be touching the bulkhead, you want to wipe the bulkhead area down with the isopropyl alcohol. As soon as all the alcohol is dry, we're going to go ahead and start applying the adhesive promoter to those exact same spots. Now we're going to give that just a moment to flash. Uh, essentially, we just want that to make sure it's dry to touch, and then we can go ahead and start peeling away uh, the tape. Start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. And again, before you touch it uh, to the adhesive promoter area, uh, you want to make sure that this is pushed down uh, to the floor of the bed. That way it lines our adhesive pieces up to where they're supposed to be. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and peel away the adhesive protector off the top piece and roll that up into place. All right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and peel back uh, the sidewall. Uh, now, what we're going to see here uh, on our driver's side, or on our passenger side rather, we've got, uh, we've got a little storage uh, box that's optional on some of these ridge lines. Uh, we're going to make use of that storage box. I'm going to show you how to cut around it. Uh, but until I do that, I'm going to go ahead and line up uh, some pieces of Velcro to the bottom here that goes right along the bottom edge of the storage box. All right, then we're going to take this other piece and we're going to run this we're going to take some more of our small uh, velcro pieces and we're going to evenly space them i'm going to use about uh, four of them right across here let's see about where they're going to go I'm 
I have two of the small red back Velcro pieces that attaches to the top of our door panel here. Once that's all in place, we're gonna go ahead and take our isopropyl alcohol and we'll wipe these areas down. Once that's dried, we're gonna get another packet of adhesive promoter. And first spot that we're gonna do is actually gonna be right along the bottom of this door panel. And up here. All right, next, before we go any farther, we're gonna go ahead and make our cuts uh, to uh, cut out for our light and also for our, our toolbox. Um, so now if we hold this up against here, we're gonna see this area that our light cuts out uh, is already marked, stamped into the back side of the bed rug. So we're gonna take a nice sharp utility knife and we're just gonna trace right along that line. Then for our box, I'm not going to completely cut this out. I'm just gonna cut three sides. Uh, that way the box can be undone and then opened up and then closed back up. I recommend doing this nice and slow. I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling away some of the, the adhesive tape. Once I've got the bottom done, uh, if you notice this corner right here, this corner needs to align directly to this corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this corner nice and tight. I'm gonna pull it. As I pull it, I'm gonna line this up to the bottom here. Next, I'm working my way up on the Velcro door. Now, just like on the bulkhead, we're gonna work from the bottom to the top. Uh, so now we've got this part already attached. We're gonna pull this side tight to make sure it lines up to the right spot. We're gonna roll this portion up. And we're gonna release the tape at the top. And we're gonna come back later to do the, uh, the tie down cleat. But for right now, we're pulling this loose as well as our top piece of Velcro going over top of the light and the, the toolbox door. Rock that up into place. Now you're going to repeat the same steps on the opposite side, of course, minus the door, but you still will have the light. Now for our front tie-down cleat, again, we want this to anchor the bed rug to the sidewall of the truck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it, we're gonna feel where our bolts are, peel back, and then cut out holes so the bolts can pop through. All right, now we've got our bolts coming through. We're gonna go ahead and pull those bolts out with a T50. We're gonna run them back through our tie-down cleat, line them back up to the holes in the bed of the truck and then reinstall them with our T50. All right, now just repeat that exact same process in all remaining cleats. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and install our trunk lid piece. Uh, so what we're gonna do is flip that upside down. 
And on the bottom, uh, we've got two strips of Velcro that run the length. Um, and if you recall, whenever we installed the two red strips of Velcro on the floor portion here, uh, we cut those uh, and we've got a little piece left over from those on each one. So we're gonna go ahead and install those here. Next, we're gonna take some of our long white backed pieces of Velcro and we're gonna cut those to length along the edges here and here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and flip it back over. We're gonna take note of all the locations that the Velcro actually touches the floor portion of uh, the trunk lid. That way we're gonna know exactly where to rub down with uh, rubbing alcohol and also with adhesive promoter. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and lay this piece in position. We're gonna make sure it's exactly where we want it to be installed. Peel one side back. And go ahead and peel away the adhesive protectant. Now go ahead and drop down one side. Bear down to get some really good adhesion. Go ahead and lift up the other side, do the same thing. And drop that side down as well. Now we're going to go ahead and install the tailgate piece. We're going to make sure we get it all lined up properly, uh, make sure it's going to fit up right, and we're going to flip it over. Now we're going to take some of our white Velcro and the, the side that goes towards the tailgate cap, we're going to put the white Velcro on there. We'll cut that to fit. We're also going to take a piece of white Velcro, and run along this edge over here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and uh, take about five strips of the red back Velcro and start along the bottom edge. That edge is going to go right along here. Now, once we get it lined up to see where everything's going to go, we're going to make sure that areas that uh, have screws, that we're not putting uh, Velcro right over top of those areas, and we can go ahead and put a little extra Velcro if we'd like. Now, for our tailgate pillar on each side, what we're going to do is we're going to use four pieces of the red back Velcro. One up here. Here midway down and one at the very bottom. Now we're going to use some rubbing alcohol and some adhesive promoter and go ahead and prep all of those areas. All right now we're going to go ahead and flip it back over. We're going to 
pull the adhesive off the top surface first. Next, we're going to flip it over. And before we let it contact the tailgate, we're going to make sure it's nice and lined up. Next, we're going to go ahead and pull off the rest of the adhesive protector and work that into place as well. All right, now that we've got uh, the, the adhesive exposed, we're gonna pull this nice and tight to get a nice clean look. Do that on both sides. Now, optionally, you can trim out uh, these corners right here so you can see uh, the lock mechanisms to get into your little toolbox on the side. Um, I'm, that's how you get in, but I'm just gonna leave those uh, covered up. I just think it has a, a nice clean look when you do that, you just tuck it up in there and it looks nice and clean. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.